All right, guys, the video we have all been waiting for, the video that's going to answer all of our questions. How do we publish a website? Well, first, we need to think of a domain name, you know, the www name, and then we need to check to see if it's available. So I'm going to go to GoDaddy.com to check to see if the name is available. Now, I'm not going to host with GoDaddy because they're expensive and their customer service is always trying to upsell me. Here's the thing. If you're paying over $4 a month for hosting, you're paying way too much. There's so many people out there paying $8 to $12 a month, which is a shame because people are getting taken advantage of just because they don't know about hosting. Well, here's how it works. You pay a monthly fee to host with a web company that is really just has a giant computer somewhere. These giant computers are called web servers or just servers. Web servers are just giant hard drives. They're just a ton of st they're just a ton of storage. Now, web hosting companies will try to sell you on their idea that you get 500 gigabytes of storage or unlimited storage. Well, the average website uses a fraction of one gigabyte. You only need unlimited storage if you have a giant e-commerce site with thousands of products with tons of pictures for each product and hundreds of thousands of customers with customers information customers information on a database. So again, the average portfolio or small business uses about 100 megabytes, which is one tenth of one gigabyte. So don't let don't let hosting providers sell you on unlimited storage space unless you do create a site that is as big as facebook.com or amazon.com. But in that case, you'll be making so much money that you'll probably have your own land with your own servers, probably somewhere in the Midwest where land and electricity are cheap. But now I'm rambling. Okay, so let's go ahead and check to see if a domain name that we want is available. So I'm going to type in villageparkmedia.com. We're going to go, and this, this uh, domain name is already taken because I already have it, and they're trying to sell it to us for like 12 bucks anyway. A lot of hosting providers will give you a domain name for free, but again, we're just using GoDaddy as an example to check to see if domains are available. So we'll go back and we'll type in ch village park media, which is a horrible domain, but we're just going to use this as an example. And this is available for $13. See, GoDaddy is going to try to sell this to me for 13 bucks. And to buy your domain is completely separate from paying for hosting. The domain is just a one-time fee and your hosting, you get charged monthly. So let's say that I do want to go with this. And here again, GoDaddy is going to sell me on all this stuff and different .NET or different domains and all this security and all this stuff down here. See, this is what you deal with when you deal with GoDaddy.com. Well, I don't want to deal with them. So I want to type in affordable web hosting on Google. I'm in a new tab now. And I'll scroll down a little bit. Cheap web hosting sites, top 10. Okay, and this is much better. Okay, we've got HostGator. I've hosted with HostGator. They are awesome. I've hosted with Bluehost. They are awesome. I hosted with GoDaddy. GoDaddy says it's only $4.24 for a month here. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. This is probably some promotion. So if you are going to go with GoDaddy, go to this page first, and they'll probably give you like a promotional code. They're trying to charge for a domain name for $1.99 over here. When on their homepage, they're trying to charge me, what, 13 bucks. So all these sites or all these companies are under $5 a month, which is fine. It's cool. So say you want to go with fatcow.com. They charge $3.67 a month. And your domain name, if it's available, it's going to be free. And they've got five stars over here. Now, I can't log into Fat Cow right now because I'm not going to pay for hosting. I'm not going to get out my credit card just to show an example. But there's three very important pieces of information that they will give you when you pay for hosting. And this is your FTP information. Your FTP info has three pieces of information that you need. They're going to give you a host name, a username, and a password. Again, I can't show you right now because I'm not going to pay for hosting, but at least you know what you need when you start paying for hosting. In the next video, I'll show you how to use your FTP info to get your folder, this folder, or root folder, on the web. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe and leave me a question if you guys have any comments or hit me up with a comment if you guys have any questions. All right.